Every passive house assembly has five fundamental layers. Those fundamental layers are the weather shading surface, the weather resistive barrier, the WRB, the vapor control layer, air barrier or air control layer, and the thermal insulation layer. The air barrier is function is to prevent the movement of air through the building envelope. We want to mitigate or limit or control the amount of heat loss. We want to stop the drafts that are typically present in less high performance buildings. Another reason why we want to control this air movement through the building envelope is to limit the amount of moisture that goes through the building envelope and imp improve and increase the durability of that building envelope. So this air control layer, or this commonly called air barrier, is more accurately described as a um, air control system. And the reason is more accurately described this way is because it typically is made of multiple components. Some of those components are building materials, such as sheeting, for instance, like wood, membranes, tapes, gaskets, windows, and window frames, window glass, and door frames, and door glazing. All those components are part of this uh, air barrier system. One of, the, one of the building components that can be used as part of this air barrier system or air control layer is, for instance, a CLT panel. A high quality CLT panel is airtight enough to be used as part or as one of the components of an air barrier system. The most critical aspect of this air barrier system is it has to be continuous. Each of the components taking part in that system have to be connected to each other. So we got the envelope mostly wrapped, a few little details to do. The windows are arriving in about two weeks and we've started putting the exterior insulation on just on the main wall areas. So right here you see that we have this continuous barrier and that actually wraps all the way around the outside of the house which gives it a nice continuous seal. Same thing with the insulation layer because we are putting it on the outside you get that very continuous, doesn't get cut up by any structure because it's outside of the structure. And similarly we have these, um, we've lapped the joints so that even the, uh, the joint in between the pieces of insulation get covered up by the next layer of insulation that kind of goes on top of that. Rock wool is a mineral wool. It's a stone wool product which is made of basalt rock and um, metal slag, which is a byproduct of steel. Passive house is often referred to as quiet and comfortable. Stonewall insulation provides that sound mitigation. It is a fire resilient product, does withstand 1177 degrees Celsius. There's zero flame spread and zero smoke. The Comfort Board 80 um, can be installed directly to the substrate with nails. However, anything over and above two inches, you would need to use a screw. And basically, we screwed right through into the CLT. Uh, basically, in this instance here, we actually screwed through, but we hit something on the other side of the CLT, whether it be a piece of metal or a bracket or something like that. So basically, this is going through our WRB. So we don't want to we don't want to pull this screw. Uh, if we pull the screw out, it actually it creates a hole, right? Basically, where our air barrier is now damaged. We leave the screw in, uh, basically keeps it sealed. We'll probably just end up cutting it off flush and then just continuing on. We're done most of the insulation. A few of it's coming later this week. And uh, as again, uh, we've done most of the walls. However, for every window, since the windows have not arrived yet, there's no point in doing anything close to the windows. We'll just do the main wall areas and then tie into the windows as they get there.